Hello everyone. Many Indian dentists often ask about alternative options in Australia besides the ADC exam. So in today's video, we are diving into the top five courses you can pursue in Australia after completing your BDS. So if you are looking to expand your career opportunities in Australia, this video is for you. But before we begin, have you subscribed to our channel? And if not, hit the subscribe button today because we bring you everything you need to know about healthcare opportunities abroad. Okay, enough talks, let's start. Now the most popular and in-demand courses is the Master of Public Health, which is MPH. You can pursue this course at top universities like the University of Canberra, Monash University, University of Melbourne, the University of Sydney and many more. Now to apply for this course, you'll need number one, a bachelor's degree or equivalent in any discipline. Number two, IELTS OET PTE 6.5 bands, not less than six bands in individual. The course duration is 1.5 to two years and it opens up various career opportunities in public health as well. Now, next we have the Master of Health Administration, which is MHA. It is a great alternative to the MPH. This two-year uh, course is popular at universities like Curtin University and La Trobe University. Now, the admission criteria usually include a bachelor's degree from a recognized university in health sciences. And uh, if you have a relevant experience, you can show that too. Now, completing this course can lead to a range of career opportunities in healthcare management. Moving on to another course, which is Master of Dental Public Health, MDPH, at the University of Sydney. It is a one-year full-time course. Now, admission to this program requires A, a bachelor's or doctoral degree or equivalent in dentistry or bachelor's degree or equivalent in relevant field. Number two, a master's of public health, MPH degree or qualification deemed equivalent by the faculty. Number third, successful performance in an interview. And you know, this course can lead to careers in oral health and offers opportunity for further studies as well. And uh, these studies can include doctor of philosophy, which is PhD or masters of philosophy, which is MPhil in medicine and health. Now, for those uh, seeking clinical training, the Doctor of Clinical Dentistry is yet another excellent option. Now, this three-year full-time program offers specializations in areas such as endodontics, oral medicine, oral surgery, orthodontics, periodontics, prosthodontics, and advanced restorative dentistry. Now, key admission requirements here includes at least two years of general dental practice experience. Secondly, registration with the Australian Dental Board prior to admissions. However, there are limited registration for international candidates. And for qualifications earned outside Australia, equivalencies and entry requirements are evaluated based on the country institution and the qualifications you have. Now, the selection process here is highly competitive. All applications are ranked according to academic merit after the application closing date and successfully ranked candidates are invited for an interview with the Sydney Dental School. Another pathway is graduate certificate in clinical dentistry with specializations such as advanced restorative dentistry or surgical dentistry. Now, this is a two year part time program and admission criteria for it includes at least two years of general dental practice experience, registration with the Australian Dental Board prior to admissions, however, limited registration for international candidates here as well. The selection process includes academic ranking, interviews, and potentially an entrance exam depending upon the specializations. Now, this program provides a focused training which can significantly enhance clinical skills, making it an attractive option for those looking to deepen their expertise in specific areas of dentistry. So these were the top five courses for those dentists who choose other different courses instead of ADC exam. Now, while these courses offer fantastic opportunities, I want to be real with you. Many international dentists often 
opt for a masters of public health or health administration thinking it's the easier route however the truth is even after completing an mba or mha landing a job and securing a visa can be a lengthy process clinical courses may provide more direct career opportunities but they do come with a higher cost and commitment and if you are committed to clinical practice in australia it might actually be more time efficient and cost effective to focus on preparing for and passing the adc exam so that's it for today i hope this video helped clarify the options available to you but remember choosing the right path depends on your career goals and personal circumstances and if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up share it with fellow dentists and do not forget to subscribe for more insights on building your dental career in australia and if you have any questions and need more advice drop a comment below and i'll be happy to help i'll see you in the next video till then take care happy studies bye bye